Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick light box demo, hopefully quick. And I basically want to have a gallery pop up for any of these um, thumbnails that get cl clicked on. So what I've done is in the code, go back to index.html. I basically, here's where the thumbnail is for the salmon. Um, here's the H1. And then I have a div that's just like inside this card. So it, it doesn't have to be with it. It's just, I like to kind of keep the code together. So I just added it to the card, but I put it in a div called hide me. So you won't be able to see this. I'm going to um, hide it from, from view, but it'll have all the source that is needed for the gallery. And then in style.css, I just added a class called hide me with display none. And that's why there's a bunch of images there that you cannot see. So let's go get Lightbox. I'm going to Google Lightbox JS. And here it is. Um, I'm going to go to getting started. I'm going to follow the GitHub release page. It's probably the quickest way. And then um, here's the latest. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Source code zip. So I'm going to download that zip. Then I will show in Finder. I'm going to open the zip and I want to look for those files. So last time I used the source folder and I realized that they don't have the minified version. So I'm going to use this dist, which stands for distribution. It's usually the the folder, um, like distribution is kind of a common name for a folder name. So to make my life easier, I'm just going to rename dist to lightbox because really that's, it just makes more sense to me. I don't want this whole thing. I don't need this whole thing. So um, I'm going to put this with my project. Let's see back images. Okay. So here's my main website. I'm just going to put lightbox right in here. I could have a folder called vendors and put it in there so that I know it's like a third party library, but this is also fine. So, um, and then I want the example code. So let's, um, just open this in, um, where are we? Gosh, too many things open. Okay. In visual studio code. And then I'm going to use that link and just edit it so that it works. Let me close this file, close this file. Okay. There's the index page I'm in. There is my index page. So first I need that link to the CSS. Where's mine? I want to, I want it to be above mine. So I have all kinds of stuff going on here. So here's mine. Um, I'll put it here. I don't know why that was all this extra space. And I need it to say, so I'm going to take this out because it's not actually right. Um, uh, this would be saying, go out of the folder I'm in, which would take me completely out of the project and then find a dist folder. So I want it to just say lightbox slash CSS slash, slash lightbox min, because here's index and there's lightbox. So I can just go straight in there. And then here's my example. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to get that JavaScript link. So same thing here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back here, scroll to the bottom and just above the body is where you want to put it. If you want to buy a fish from Bob, here's his phone number. Um, he's a very nice guy. Okay. So this is going to be light box. Okay. There we go. So there's the two pieces we need there. And then um, I'm not going to make the mistake I did in class. I'm going to just make sure that my link has an image in it and that my, uh, where's the image? Okay. And my image is also there. So I'm going to grab a whole complete set to use as sort of a template. Um, I'm going to zoom out because you all don't need to see such giant code when you're okay. Here we go. Woo. Yikes. Okay. <clears throat> Back up to salmon. Here's my image. I'm just going to paste it here. 
maybe I'll, um, if you do command forward slash, it'll give you comments. So I'm going to put it in comments. I'm going to add a link around my image. I'm going to move the closing tag, put it at the end of my image tag. Okay. I am going to say data light box example set in the href, the href. And I'm going to put in a class of example image in our image. And then um, example set. Okay. And then I think the only thing they need is like if, if they have example set. So, and that's on the link. Right. I should have made these all links. Um, I'm going to put a link around all of these that has their, their image thing in it. So I'll pause so you don't have to watch me do boring stuff. Oops. Pause. I'm back. <clears throat> so I have added a link around all these. I'm starting to think, I wonder if I even need an image because, um, you know, it's really using the link. So anyway, we'll find that out soon enough, right? So I'm going to refresh. Still nothing wrong. Let's see if there's any errors. Inspect console. No errors. Good. Close the console. Um, let's just click it and see. Okay, sweet. So I didn't add any of the classes. I'm kind of doing things one at a time to see what's really um, important because um, I don't want to add extra. So what did I just do? Okay. All right, I'll just do three. Okay, image salmon example link image. And then there's also example set. And then the image has example image. And you know, you could rename it something different, but image example image. I'll just do a couple. Image. Get out of my way. Refresh. Hmm, I wonder if they have to be like example image, example set, href. You know, it's looking for this one, that's why. That's why. There we go. Okay. Cool. So <clears throat> yeah, I just, um, I didn't, I don't really actually want the thumbnail. So now that we have this working, let's see if we can exclude the thumbnail from this. I'm not sure if we can. So let's see the href. We could have it go to like the first image that we want to see instead of this one. And then it would just go to the rest. Right. So um, we could do this one, salmon one, right? And then paste. So that'll be the first one that opens up and then we can get rid of salmon one here. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I think so. One of eight. Yep. Cool. So there you go. Um, light box. Um, cool. I will uh, post this and add links to things and all that good stuff. Okay, bye.